What's up, family? So China has mobilized their warplanes, so say in anticipation of some type of battle with North Korea. It goes like this, y'all. The U.S. has detected signs that China is preparing for a military crisis on the peninsula, a U.S. defense official revealed Thursday. China has put People's Liberation Army Air Force land attack cruise missile capable bombers on high alert an official told CNN, adding that analysis suggests the Chinese military is moving to boost its military readiness, possibly to reduce the time to react to North Korea contingency. Tensions on the Korean Peninsula have been running high as the North continues to engage in provocative behavior in violation of international restrictions. North Korea has launched at least eight confirmed missiles since the start of the year and its rhetoric continues to be particularly hostile. The North threatened a super mighty preemptive strike Thursday, warning that it could wipe out U.S. forces as well as turn U.S. bases and the continental U.S. into a pile of ashes. Reports on April 14th suggested China has put all five military regions on alert and instructed units to be ready to move in the event of a conflict. There were also reports that China moved 150,000 troops to the border in preparation for problems. However, there was no evidence to support those claims. Must have came from Fox News. China keeps a contingency force of thousands of soldiers on the border. The U.S. and South Korea are currently holding the Max Thunder air combat drill designed to improve allied readiness for a serious escalation of tensions in the peninsula. The U.S. and North Korea have been exchanging warning and threats, but the situation has yet to come to blows. The Trump administration is working with Beijing to help rein in North Korea, and China has, according to administration officials, ratcheted up pressure on the North Korean regime, potentially raising tensions between the old treaty allies. In an afternoon press conference, Donald Trump, without referencing China military action specified, said, some very unusual moves have been made over the past two or three hours by China. So, and I'm going to tell you something. What's crazy is that the people in the U.S., not all people, of course, but many people in the U.S., mainly conservatives, they are like very invested in some type of conflict. It's like they want conflict. They want blood. But these are usually pe people that want blood, people that want conflict. It's normally people who are bullies. See, bullies normally go unchecked. So until they get their ass whooped, until they get their head knocked off, until they see some blood of their own, see their own bleeding, they usually ain't going to stop being a bully. And they're not going to stop that rhetoric until they see it's real in the field. So I would advise anybody that want to see America jump in there or China go in there and destroy North Korea, which I don't think China's going to do nothing to North Korea anyway. I think that's just a whole bunch of posturing and bluffing and stuff. If China does anything, maybe they'll kill one soldier at the border or something, you know, something where they can say, well, he crossed the line. He wasn't supposed to be in this area or whatever. And we shot him. We're sorry. We're sorry. That kind of thing. You know, just to appease Americans, make, make America think that they're trying to really do something to solve the crisis. If y'all can remember while you're talking about just going in that bomb in North Korea, if you can remember, you know, America did the same thing to uh, Japan, and when when that happened in Japan, there were a lot of kids who were also murdered, and there were kids who were maimed, kids who were severely injured, and there were kids who were left traumatized by that experience. 
Look at those kids today. See, war is costly, y'all. I'm not a coward by any means. I don't mind putting something on somebody's ass. But I think about what I'm going to do. And I also think, is it worth it? And I think it all the way through, beginning to end. Can't just jump out there and just drop a bomb on somebody, drop a bomb on the country and think everything going to be cool. It ain't going to be cool. And I don't think, I don't even think America going to fuck with North Korea. Because I just think that North Korea ties with China is way too close. And I think that China is obligated to ride with North Korea more than they are obligated to ride with America. Even though America is China's number one trader. But keep in mind, 85% of North Korea's trading comes from China. So they're, they're very reliant upon one another. But this is what happens when you get an incompetent reality star playing a game of chicken. Dude don't know what he doing. I promise you he don't know what he doing. And history will side with me. When all of this is over, after this, whenever he get out of here, whether he is impeached or whether he lasts four years, eight years, whatever, history is going to be on my side. This dude is going to go down in history as one of the worst presidents in the history of America and civilization. He is among the worst. I don't think that Kim Jong-un wants to end his country's run. I don't know what he's really thinking. I mean, he can't really believe in his heart of hearts that he stands a chance of winning any real battle with the U.S. He can't really believe that. He can only believe that any type of hostile movements that he make, anything that he does that's shown as a physical sign of aggression is only going to rush his demise. So I just don't think that he really believes that. I think the dude is posturing. And here's the thing, though, like, keep in mind, the U.S. is North Korea's enemy. North Korea do not like the U.S. And what I want to know from y'all is this. The, the U.S. is telling North Korea you can't build bombs while in the same breath the U.S. builds whatever bomb it wants to build. You can't test bombs. Well, in the same breath, the U.S. tests whatever bomb it wants to test. Let me ask you guys out there, no matter what side you're on, whether you're riding with Trump or you against them. How many of you out there would take heed to uh, stipulations from your enemy? How many of you would respect provisions that your enemy give you and tell you, you can't do this to protect yourself or you can do this? How many of you would you actually listen to your enemy? If your enemy say, hey, don't go get that gun. And you better not go get no gun. How many of you would actually listen? You better not go get no, I got a gun and I'm going to kick your ass if I feel like it, if I feel you wrong, but you better not go get a gun. And if you do, I'll just shoot you faster. How many of you would actually listen? How many of you would actually listen to your enemy say, don't you raise your hand at me? even though in the same breath, they're raising their hand at you. How many of you would do that? This, this, what is this boils down to? This is North Korea's enemy telling them how to protect themselves against them. Come on, man. It, it don't really make a whole lot of sense if you really think about it. But now what this all comes down to is that China has to decide 
whether or not North Korea serving as a buffer to communism and capitalism is worth it to them. Or they got to decide whether or not they want to uh, end their run with China, uh, with, with North Korea. You know, has that run come to an end where they exhausted all of the resources that they can use from North Korea? They don't need North Korea anymore. North Korea is not a liability. It's cool to get rid of North Korea. They got to decide that because in the grand scheme of things, North Korea to the rest of the world, at least that's what's being reported, is a nuisance. But especially to Big Brother America, North Korea is a nuisance. So China has to decide whether they want to continue to ride with North Korea or whether they're going to ride with the West. I think I know the answer to that, but all of us will get our answer within the next few days, weeks, months, uh, years. No more talk. What the talking about? Damn. Order in Texas.